Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show how to set up L2TP VPN. First thing first, I need to show you what's the scenario. So this firewall is located in the remote network and I'm trying to reach this IP address. Actually, the IP address in the range is 10.116.1.100 so that's the IP address of the computer I'm trying to reach so in order to set up I need to do some steps first thing I need to define some users on authentication in users so I will call the users like VPN1 password I will define something so I need email so it doesn't matter if the email should be valid or not so I will define it like like test at sign test.com so this one is not important but it's mandatory I need to enter it group so we need to create the groups before that or I can just add it to the open groups or guest groups so it doesn't matter you can define a different groups here and add the users to that group and define the limiting the access access time so I'm not going to restrict the access but you can do it based on here and define based on what's your requirement so network traffic none I will just use it as a default settings traffic shaping no okay so this one this need to be enabled that's the L2TP PPTP I will keep it disabled IPsec I will keep it disabled and that's it Password. Okay, my password. It looks not. Very strange. Okay, now my user is ready. If you want to define a group, you can add a group here and assign the bandwidth, time, and whatever you want and add that user to this group so that's not a mandatory steps but you still you can do it mine is joined to the open group if i go here and show member group so my vpn user is here and this is all default settings in next step i go to remote access I'm going to L2TP tab. Now I need to define something, the L2TP global settings. Click here and I need to enable the L2TP and assign the IP address. So the IP address I will assign is something like that 10.20.30.1.100. To 30. So the, the primary DNS server I will assign 888 and click on apply. Okay, now I need to add my VPN. So I need to define a name for it. So I will call it L2TP. VPN this is just the name the profile so the profile every VPN have a profile you can just go with the default L2TP VPN profile or you can change the settings it's up to you but the default one works well the gateway type I would call it respond only Authentication type, you can use digital certificate 
or pre-shared key. So in this lab, I will just do it by pre-shared key. Okay, so this one is showing that my public IP, which is traffic coming, local ID, you can just leave it as it is, remote host, so as you can see, it's the asterisk, it means any IP address can come in, low net travel salt enabled, remote subnets, you can put any, or you can limit it to restrict the access. So based on you, you can define your groups and restrict the access. The groups will be defined here in the host and services. I will show you later. So as you can see, there are some here you can define. Click on add. So you can create a list, IP range, whatever you want to do. And add it to a group. I will go just as a default setting and click on save. Okay, as you can see, the L2TP is enabled. The status is disabled. You need to click here. Uh, are you sure you want to activate it? Yes. I'll click OK. Now, how to test it? I can test it by this computer i just go here and i will type vpn in the search bar go to vpn settings add the vpn connections so i will choose the windows built-in connection name i will call it vpn server name so that's my uh, the public ip of my firewall VPN type. So since I'm using pre-shared key with L2TP, so L2TP with pre-shared key, I will enter my pre-shared key. So I'm using the username and password type of the info, username VPN1 and the password. and I will save it. As soon as I save, if I go to network settings, another connection will be added. So that's the connection. By default, if I connect right now to the VPN, the firewall will be as a gateway and all my traffic sent to the internet so probably I will be disconnected if I do that you can have in access to the internet and also the remote network I will show you how to do you need to change something here so in order to connect to the VPN network only and you have also access to the internet you need to go to properties go to networking choose IPv4 go to properties go to advanced settings and uncheck this one use default network gateway on the remote network so if you don't uncheck that one all the traffic will be go on the VPN and you don't have access to your local network click OK OK and we are going to test it together so it also is coming here so I will connect okay now I'm connected let me go back to my VPN settings so I will just refresh. As you can see, 
there is a connection here. I need to go on the firewall rules and also define the rules and permit the network. I will go create a new rule firewall. I will call it test log enable logging. So source of the traffic should be VPN. Source network any destination network is LAN. So you can still define the network on the VPN and restrict the incoming traffic. Again, click on add. You can go with IP range or network and you can define whatever you want to do. So like in my case, I define the VPN range in a range of something like this. Also one more time, let me show you what's my IP address. IP config and this is the IP address I got from the firewall. Okay, now I can limit it, like choose the network and enter the IP address 10.20.30. I will leave it and just save the rules. Also, I forget to put the rules on the top, but still I can drag and drop it. Okay, my rule should be somewhere here. So that's my rule. I will test it again. Okay, after I take a look to the problem, so it looks the Windows firewall has blocking my connection. I was able to reach another IP address in my network. So it's all good and uh, it's working. I hope you learned something from my channel. Please subscribe for more tips and training.